Welcome viewers to the discussion of the first episode of The Life We Live. Here we meet with the counsellor and talk about the scenes in the episode and draw some lessons from the movie. Welcome Pastor, thank you for joining us. Sandra and Aaron are about to get married and Sandra has called Aaron to talk about a sexual affair that she was having and is still ongoing. She wants Aaron to help her um, resolve this issue. Is it right in the first place for Sandra to call Aaron to talk about this issue and also help her resolve this sexual affair? Okay, so um, that's, that's a very difficult one for her. And um, this is my opinion on that. Um, she, she has unresolved issues. And I think she's ready for Aaron. I mean, what should Aaron come to do? Because if Aaron comes and say that I, I want to marry you, and so stay off that that gentleman, how would she? Why would he be sure that you are even doing it? So it will breed trust issues. And once you're in a relationship that has trust issues, the slightest of things, you know, pack up fire in the relationship and so if Sandra really wants to marry Aaron then she should resolve with the other gentleman and stay away from from him even though it would be wise discussing with him before they go into marriage the marriage may not even come up place and so if he waits till after marriage it's going to create a big problem even before the marriage it's going to creates a big problem and so if she indeed loves Aaron then she should not pull Aaron into this she should solve her issue and be honest to, to her but if she cannot stay away from that guy she should tell Aaron she cannot stay away from him and so that Aaron will, will make a very will make a very cogent decision whether to continue with her or to dissolve that relationship. Okay, so Pastor, you've made it known to us that it was Sandra's business. That means she shouldn't have involved Aaron. Right. So here's the case that Aaron also has a baby. He has a daughter. Will it be the best option or will it be the right option for Aaron to inform Sandra about his daughter? Uh, or that also is his own business? I mean, that is, that's a very wrong thing to do. You know, that, and that, that, that is all about honesty. And what Aaron should have done, in fact, even if they have gone for quick marital counseling, all these things will come up. And that's why it's very important to go for premarital counseling. So that some of these things that would otherwise have not been known could be known um, during those, those, those times. So, so what it is is that if Aaron is coming back to tell Sandra of a child he had before their marriage. It is definitely going to create a lot of problems for them. And so the prudent thing for Aaron to have done was to have told Sandra of the baby. That is different from, that is different from Sandra calling Aaron to solve her sexual relationship. Even though she's even in a relationship with Aaron, she still sleeps with, with, with the other gentleman, which is, which is very wrong and uncalled for. And so you cannot treat the, those, those uh, matters the same way. Aaron's own is different from... It's not about, you know, when we talk about uh, putting our past together, for example, I, have, I am not in a relationship, you are not in a relationship, we have met and we have agreed that we will get married. Now we get married. Where we counsel that couples should be careful is when now they go back in, when they are in the marriage and start talking about their exes and their past relationships and all of that. If one is overly jealous, it creates an impression that even, even when we are in the relationship, you are still seeing someone. Or for example, whoever you discuss may have been known to either of them. It breeds a whole lot of confusion. And supposing you are in the same church or in the same club, and it happens that he stands for five minutes to talk, what signal does he get or does she get? And so, I mean, your past is your past. 
But that kind of situation is different from what Aaron, Aaron did. Aaron had no business hiding from Sandra, the baby he had before meeting Sandra. Pastor, Dora, who is um, Aaron's baby mama, doesn't want the marriage between um, Sandra and Aaron to happen. She still thinks that um, Aaron is her soulmate and um, because of their child, she is still tied to Aaron. Do you think that San, um, Dora should just understand that they just made a baby? Or you think she should, she has the right to fight for Aaron? What do you think? Yes, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a very tricky situation. But f first of all, what comes to my mind as, as, a, as, a, as a possible thing that is happening between them is that they have not really broken up with each other. And there are hundreds of them around where people think they have moved on, yet they, had, they didn't sit to talk about their strained relationship that we have, we, have, we have observed a lot of things. We are not compatible. We cannot be together. So that this one is certain in their mind, this one is also certain in their mind. But one may think they have moved on. And in this case where she has a baby with him, it is easy for her to use that as a bait to still bring him back to him. So she will fight and make it impossible to, to make the other lady look so bad so she could have Aaron to, to, to herself. So what Aaron should do is to go back and sit her down, resolve with her, whatever their differences are, and they could move on their separate ways. Otherwise, even when this Aaron is married to this other lady, this lady could be sending her text messages and things like that. And if in, in the case where he has, she has not devolved that information to the other lady. And so in this scenario, I feel that the lady either is overly jealous and is behaving that way, or more possibly, they have not resolved to break up. Reason why she still finds that there is a way around him, but there are some relationships that not start officially. It could be a one night meeting and maybe they got involved in sex and there was pregnancy. You know, the, the, the man may accept the pregnancy, but may not be prepared to go into marriage with you. It happens. But most of the times we have put pressure on people because of the babies that have been, the issues they've had in the marriage and forced them even to go into marriage. And then those marriages end up breaking up too. And so the best thing is that is for Aaron to discuss the situation with this one so that this one is aware that I have had some past relationship and there was a baby involved in that relationship and I have moved on. I mean, we, 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 it's not something like we can live together. Even though I have moved on, she still thinks that she has a chance with me or something like that, but I have broken with. And then you move a step further to make sure that you block every chance she has around you. Otherwise, if you still pick up her calls and do, and especially, this, I said it is tricky because there is a baby between them. Because if you have to send the baby money, it, it will be through her. That is why it is very important that this new girl, so that this lady is very certain that if I send money, it is because of my, my baby. That's all and nothing else. And even that one, there must be breaks to make sure that you don't, they, this lady will not find them in some compromising situations. Very, very important. This brings us to the end of the discussion. We hope you also drew lessons as we discuss the issues. Watch out for the next episode. We'll come back here and, as we've done today, discuss the issues. And I hope you will also draw some lessons as we discuss the issues. Thank you very much. Thank you.